Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is one of my gardening diaries and I was so excited to get it started that I forgot to film my intro. So we have discovered that there is a fabulous garden centre very close to our caravan. So we are going to go for a visit today. It is called Reton Nurseries. I hope you enjoy this video. Right, so we are here, so let's go and have a look inside and see what it's like. Fifty pence. <laughs> Amazing. I honestly cannot explain how huge this nursery is. There is so much to see and I need to come back for a full day, I think, just to have a really good look around. It is unbelievable. So I've got quite a few plants here. I've got a few for home as well. Um, I'll just show you what I've got and I'll work out what I want to put here and what I'm going to take away. So I've got this one, it's like a, a bleeding heart, isn't it? Um, £4.50 is so cheap. So that's one there. Sorry if there's any like windy noise. Um, I've got this, which is this one and it's called a... Uh, so it's a mountain fire. Um, so you got that one too. Um, picked this up, which is oh, it's a rhododendron. I thought what an azalea. Jesus, honestly, well, it's a little rody. And oh, it's an azalea. Yeah, these are the smaller, aren't they? Um, geisha orange. There's quite a lot of buds on it already so hopefully that will fill out quite nicely so I'm planning on having that here I think I really like this it looks really pretty um, got the lovely flowers on it they gorgeous and that look really nice in the breeze they get like, it's quite breezy up here and it is called Is a geum cocktail tequila sunrise fantastic it's so breezy but yeah that's really pretty um picked up this shrub here which is all lovely and that's to go home um only a little tiny one i'm taking that home and this rose is also to go home um, i'll show you that when we get back home um, in another video and i've got some lupins and these are just a mixed variety. I've got a couple of packs of those. I've got this really little tiny one. This is really pretty and hopefully this will sort of spread quite well and give it a nice bit of ground cover. How pretty is that? Can't remember what it's called. If you know what this is called, do let me know. Yeah, so that is everything. So I'm going to work out where I'm going to put them 
get them in. I've got some compost, a big bag of compost to try and improve the soil. It's not bad, but it's quite heavy. It's a bit of clay in here as well. And then I've got some bark to mulch the top with. So it should keep it nice and neat. And then I think the plan is when we come back in the summer, we're not going to be here now for a few weeks because I'm working next weekend. And then the two Saturdays after that, I'm going on holiday to Gran Canaria. And then we'll be back at the, um, about the 20th of May, I think. So I think we're going to extend the bed to make it a bit wider down the side of the caravan. And then we'll come in and sort of get some more plants in then. And then we're probably going to maybe put a couple of slabs down here at the um, edge of the stairs. So I'll just take you around quickly just to sort of show you. So yeah, so we're just gonna have some nice little flowers at the front here. Then we'll probably extend the bed down the side. Might even put some little wildlife flowers down the side here and things. And then just, we'll just extend it out the front as well here. Yeah, and that looked really pretty. And we are lucky because we just look onto this gorgeous pond. It's breezy today, but it's a really lovely outlook. So here's a few other things that we picked up. We've got this massive bag of compost, and we're gonna just add that into the soil. Got this bark as well, which we'll use to mulch the top. Um, really, really handy. We have also picked up some little gloves. They're only one ninety a pair. I'll leave those here at the caravan along with this trowel. Um, and then also these are going to go home. I've got some labels for the greenhouse for my seeds when I finally sow them. And then these little pots were only 50 pence for all of them, which I think was such a bargain. <laughs> I'm delighted. I've had to do a voiceover because the wind noise was so bad. But this is what it was like on the right when we started, just a bit of gravel there. We've removed the gravel and dug it over a bit, but there's so much excess soil, we're gonna to have to remove a little bit of it, I think. Add a bit of compost in and try and improve it overall. I think this is where I'm going to finally put these. I think. I think this will be quite nice on the edge, just sort of wafting in the breeze. And then a nice sort of shrub there, shrub there. Room for the azalea to grow in the middle. Some lupins at the back. And this little one here, which will end up just hopefully spreading out and around and look very pretty. Don't want it too big with it being near the stairs. Um, I might just take the other lupin home, I think. I just leave that for now. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I just need to get them planted in now. So there we go, all planted up, 
mulch through the back and I think that's going to look really pretty in a few months once it starts to establish a little bit more and then we'll just work our way as I said down the side probably pop some of these like yellow ones in and they're really pretty and continue that down the side so yeah I'm really really pleased I'm going to go and have a cup of tea but I hope you've enjoyed this little video if you have please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and um, yeah any ideas about what you think I should plant around the rest of the caravan edging do let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time bye